there's this really awesome pattern in TypeScript called branded types, where you can put even more meaning and logic into the type system. For instance, I've got two types here, one called absolute path, one called relative path. This relative path here is relative to the current folder that I'm in, but an absolute path would be the absolute path to the file wherever we are. We've got a function here called expects absolute path, and you can see that I can't pass in this relative path into this function that's expecting the absolute path. If I show you the full error here, argument of type relative path is not assignable to parameter of type absolute path. But what's going on there? Because they're both strings, right? They're both just like foo bar baz dot txt here at runtime. Well, what we're doing this brand type helper at the top is basically saying we have t and we're intersecting it with this unique symbol of this brand. In other words, absolute path here is both string and this extra thing called brand absolute path. And relative path down the bottom, it's exactly the same, except its brand is relative relative path. I personally use this pattern quite a lot for literally this exact use case in my monorepo. For instance, I really bit me a lot of times that read deer from node actually returns relative paths here. So I would read the files from a directory and further way down in my program, I would pass them into something that expected an absolute path and it would delete the wrong directory or create the wrong directory, all sorts of mess ensued. It does mean that you've got to sprinkle your code with a few as is here, since these branded types don't really exist in reality. But the important thing is, is that they make your types really, really descriptive and powerful. And there are many, many awesome use cases for them.